Many people throughout history have stumbled upon and discovered incredible things, be it intentionally or not. But some of those discoveries have ruffled some serious feathers. These are the most uncomfortable and controversial finds in history. Number 15. 1,600 Year Old Skeleton Rich people being eccentric is like a fish in a water bowl. You see it, and your first reaction is going to be... yeah, so? But it turns out that the eccentric rich people of today are nothing compared to the weirdness that came almost 2,000 years ago. In 2016, archaeologists in Mexico discovered a 1,600-year-old skeleton of a woman. And that's about as normal as you're going to get from this topic, I'm afraid. Archaeologists tend to be very comfortable staring at unusual things. But this one turned out to be a little bit bizarre. Upon closer inspection, the archaeologists discovered that the woman had mineral-encrusted teeth and intentionally elongated skull. All signs that this woman likely belonged to upper-class society. Well, I guess rich people do tend to get a little big-headed from time to time. See what I did there? The researchers dated the remains back some 1,600 years. However, it's still a mystery who she was or even what specific culture she belonged to. The bones were found in the ancient ruins of Teotihuacan, a pre-Hispanic civilization near to Mexico City. So naturally, she's known as the woman of Tlalatlacan. Try making a limerick out of that one and see where it gets you. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Both of these photos show things that were found on beaches. Both of these things were assumed to be the corpse of a mermaid, and you can certainly see why. Mermaid finds actually happen on a far more regular basis than you might think, but they very rarely make mainstream media because there is a lot of controversy as to whether they're even real. While some mermaid skeletons that are found are swiftly proven as fake, often a prosthetic made by pranksters, some are harder to prove is false. Hence the controversy. One of two things is happening. Either lots of dead mermaids are washing up and being mistaken as fakes, or a lot of people like to make fake mermaid corpses for some reason. These two photos are of dead mermaids that surfaced on beaches recently. Very uncomfortable if real. But are they? What do you think? It's certainly a controversial topic. As always, comment down below with the hashtag juicy topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 14. Ancient Roman Sword History is a confusing and often chaotic mess, even if you're an expert on the subject. Take, for instance, when the Old World and the New World met for the first time. Look, just please try and stick with me here. I'm doing my best. According to professional historians, the Viking landing has long been believed to be the first contact between the Old World and the New World. But one discovery pretty much debunked that theory. When an ancient Roman sword was found off the eastern coast of Canada, experts determined that the Romans must have been there around the second century. If not, earlier. That's over 800 years before the Vikings landed, effectively debunking a long-held and long-supported theory. And if you're wondering how exactly this toy-looking sword could possibly signify Romans, well, there were also stones with ancient Roman language, burial mounds in the Roman style, crossbow bolts from ancient Iberia, and coins connected to the empire, to name but a few. You. According to experts, this find dramatically muddles what we long believed to be the case on our planet. It seems that, in the great scheme of things, we know absolutely nothing that's going on. Which, I mean, to be fair, is generally how I live my life. Number 13. The Massive Stone Sphere 
When this massive stone sphere was first discovered in Bosnia, the world immediately lit up with excitement. The appearance of the giant sphere and a controversial Indiana Jones type figure led many to believe that this was somehow part of an ancient civilization. It wasn't, of course, but uh, well, that didn't go down too well either. The whole thing started when archaeologist Samir Osmanagic, also known as the Bosnian Indiana Jones, discovered the sphere in a Bosnia forest. Osmanagic claimed that the sphere belonged to some kind of ancient civilization that lived in the area a thousand years ago, who hand built it and left it there. The internet obviously got very excited to figure out who built it and its purpose, but the geologists joined the chat to uh, debunk a couple of things. Well, actually everything. Geologists quickly explained that actually the coloring of the stone was pretty much a dead giveaway that this was a naturally occurring creation. To be more specific, it was a naturally occurring spherical rock known as a concretion. And as for that unusual reddish brown color, concretion are iron rich, so they're often a reddish color. So I guess the lesson of the day here is to stop listening to international Indiana Jones types. Just listen to the real deal. Number 12. Dead Sea Scrolls is there anything more controversial than disputing something written in the most successful and beloved book in the world? I'm of course talking about the Bible, not Twilight. It turns out that we may have been wrong about Noah's Ark all this time, and we have the scrolls to prove it. Over 50 years ago, a Bedouin shepherd threw a rock into a cave and made what is now considered the greatest archaeological discovery of the 21st century. After hearing the rock crack a jar, the shepherd found the first of what would later be known as the Dead Sea Scrolls. In total, these scrolls had around 800 manuscripts, but the real drama came when the scrolls were translated. Experts in charge of deciphering the scrolls discovered that they had some unique claims about biblical history. In particular, the claim that Noah's Ark was actually more pyramid-shaped than we ever thought. According to the scrolls, the Ark's ribs were gathered together at the top in the shape of a pyramid of sorts. Those words are obviously slightly confusing, but many experts chimed in to make it more accessible, and they all agreed the roof of the Ark was pointed. Now how many of you guessed that? Number 11. The Controversial Cave You'd be surprised to find out just how many experts disagree on topics regarding the history of our species. For instance, when exactly did humans first reach the Americas? We have no idea because archaeologists seem to have wildly different theories on the same topic, especially this controversial cave. In 2020, a group of archaeologists excavating a cave in the central Mexico mountains discovered some shocking evidence hundreds of stone tools. The find pretty much confirmed that people were occupying this area of the world over 30,000 years ago. That's 15,000 years earlier than previously thought. Obviously, not everybody reacted well to the news. The dramatic announcement led many archaeologists to express skepticism or uncertainty. Some highlighted the notoriously questionable history of data from caves. Others simply said that the tools may not actually be made of stone. Honestly, I think it was close to descending into an archaeology fistfight. Ordinarily, when archaeologists find something, it's cause for much excitement. But in this case, the find only created a mess of controversy that saw the whole thing shadowed by how close we got to seeing a real-life archaeologist's fight club. I guess my rock is bigger than your rock was always going to end this way. Number 10. The Creepy Mummy if I were to ask what's the creepiest thing that a mummy could possibly do, I'm pretty sure the most common answer would be anything. And you know what? 
Yeah, that's pretty much accurate. Which is how I know this video is going to be some pretty weird business. In 2012, tourists at the Guadalajara Cathedral claimed to be the unsuspecting witnesses for some serious paranormal activity. While visiting the shrine of the Catholic saint Santa Innocencia, the tourist was recording the whole thing to preserve the memories of their vacation when something weird happened. While the tourist didn't see it in the moment, they later discovered that the corpse opens her eyes in front of the camera. Or so the family claims. Many people immediately came to disprove these claims, insisting that the mummy's head is totally fake, that only the hands are real. But Cardinal Juan Francisco Robles apparently claimed that the saint was long known to make miracles, and that this is just one of the many. So I think you can see the obvious controversy between the two sides. Now I have to ask ya, is this real or is it fake? Or if you're one of those people, demonic possession maybe? It could be anything. Number 9. Shroud of Turin there's probably no more controversial discovery than the Shroud of Turin, a long piece of twill cloth that many believe is the burial shroud of Jesus Christ himself. In fact, controversial may not be a strong enough word to describe this particular subject. The Catholic Church first recorded the shroud's existence in 1353 AD when it first showed up in a church in France, but the shroud was known to the world long before thanks to a legend dating all the way back to 30 or 33 AD. That legend claimed that the shroud had been transported to Turkey, Constantinople, and eventually Greece. Of course, none of these claims could be verified because everybody was long dead. You have to admire the people who tried, though. Eventually, in the 1980s, researchers were finally allowed to determine the age of this most sacred piece of cloth, and they determined that the cloth was actually created between 1260 and 1390 AD, effectively proving that the whole thing was a medieval fake. But while scientists are pretty confident, others are not. Today, the war between those who believe it's fake and those who think it was just restitched is more intense than ever. We may never know the truth, but it's a nice shroud. Number 8. The Copper Scroll Treasure after that shepherd first discovered the Dead Sea Scrolls, the caves in the area became a hotbed of activity. In 1952, a team of researchers and archaeologists examined every single cave in the area, finding all of the scrolls and eventually finding something even more fascinating. On a shelf carved into the wall of one of the caves, archaeologists found the Copper Scroll, the only one to be written on copper. And while the other scrolls contained codes of conduct, hymns, or prayers even, this one was different. This one was simply a list of gold and silver treasures hidden in 63 locations of what today we know as Israel. In its entirety, the scroll lists treasure that would add up to around 160 tons of gold and silver, the largest hoard of treasure ever buried. Today, that amount of precious metal would be over $3 billion worth. Naturally, many people have been out searching for the treasure. None have found it. Some experts have speculated that the Jewish people used the metals to rebuild Jerusalem after the Roman army left. But of course, we have absolutely no idea, and we likely never will. Unless you guys want to take part in my scavenger hunt, the winner gets to pay me. Number 7. Gobekli Tepe once again, we're returning to a controversial question about the evolution of our civilization, namely, where did humans first settle? I'm pretty sure we can rule out Narnia and probably also Middle-earth, but that's all I'm willing to rule out on this topic. For much of the 20th century, archaeologists agreed that humans first settled into permanent towns, farmed, and then built their temples starting in 8000 BC. But in 1994, the new discovery of Gobekli Tepe pretty much destroyed that hypothesis. This rural area of Turkey is considered the world's oldest place of worship. 
featuring multiple rings of huge stone pillars and dating back to the 10th millennium BC. But further investigation revealed that the people who built this unique location were semi-nomadic hunters, probably totally unaware of agriculture. So that long-held belief that temples came last? Clearly that's inaccurate. Since that 1994 discovery, archaeologists have been asking many questions, hoping to try and figure out what came first. So far they've concluded, um, well, they're working on it, and that's really all that we can ask them to do during this very difficult time. I guess this is the archaeological version of the chicken and the egg. But you know, with stones. Number 6. The Terrestrial Telescope Sometimes people focus so much on whether extraterrestrials exist that they don't stop to wonder about the terrestrial life above us. And by that I mean the invisible entities that float and fly through our skies. Oh, you didn't know about that? Until finally we have the name on the top. See? Well, luckily for you, there's a telescope for it. In 2015, renowned genius Dr. Ruggiero Santilli developed a new kind of telescope designed to observe antimatter light. Using this new telescope, Santilli was able to prove the existence of antimatter galaxies, antimatter asteroids, and antimatter cosmic rays, the first known evidence that any of this exists. But it gets crazier. Dr. Santilli's further tests helped him identify two different types of invisible terrestrial entities, or ITES, unusual objects that float and fly through the skies above us, totally undetectable to the naked eye. Obviously, there's a lot to be excited about when it comes to extraterrestrial life, but clearly there's just as much to be curious about on our own planet. After all, we have no real idea what the heck these things are, or what they're trying to do in our atmosphere. It's kind of weird, right? Maybe E.T. is just hanging out here with us and we don't even know about it. Number 5. King Tut the story of King Tutankhamun is pretty much legendary at this point, as is the discovery of his tomb. But even today, there are still new discoveries being made about the boy pharaoh and his very unusual burial. A study of Tutankhamun's remains in 2010 determined that the young Tut suffered from many problems, including malaria and a rare bone disorder in his foot. But while experts are slowly starting to learn more about Tut himself, there's still a lot of controversy controversy over his burial method. When Tutankhamun was first discovered, his mummification was strange to say the least. The pharaoh's skin had been soaked black with oil, his heart removed, and his uh, genitals mummified at an unusual angle. In fact, the oil was so flammable that it appeared Tut's body had caught on fire at some point. Yeah, that's some bad luck. Experts also discovered that the tomb appeared to have been prepared in a rush, with microbes on the walls, suggesting that the paint wasn't even dry when the tomb was closed. All in all, experts were shocked to discover that the sudden death of Tutankhamun was more of a mess than they ever expected. So that's one heck of a discovery. Number 4. Sanxing Dui how does an entire civilization vanish? That's not a riddle, it's an actual existential nightmare. And it's also what happened to the San Shindui civilization, a culture that completely collapsed with absolutely no explanation other than all of the goodies they left behind when they disappeared, obviously. In 1929, a man repairing a sewage ditch in Shizuan, China, happened to discover a treasure trove of jade and stone artifacts. Over time, these goodies found new homes with private collectors, also known as rich people, but the story doesn't end there. Decades after that initial discovery in 1986, archaeologists exploring the area discovered two more pits full of similar treasure. But still, nobody knew who actually crafted these incredible items. Today, researchers believe that those gems were the creations of members of the Sanshin Dewey civilization before their cultures collapsed. 3,000 years ago. And that's about
account all they know. Even today, the topic of San Shindui is a controversial one, as nobody can fully understand why an entire civilization abandoned their home and buried so many artifacts and pits. Explanations have ranged from earthquakes to some kind of open attack, but the truth is, experts only have these artifacts to look at. So who the heck knows? Number 3. Voynich Manuscript if you're an avid reader looking for a challenge, you might have just found your next book. If you can understand it, of course. Which, honestly, might be something of a challenge. The Voynich Manuscript is one of the world's most confusing and seemingly unsolvable mysteries. Because it makes absolutely no sense. For the first two-thirds, the manuscript is more or less easy to follow and understand. Then things take a turn. Seemingly out of nowhere, readers encounter a line drawn of a bath surrounded by pipes and filled with naked women. Over the next few pages, they see more and more naked women in increasingly surreal scenarios accompanied by strange text. Text that is, you guessed it, absolute nonsense. Since it was first discovered in 1912, hundreds of experts have looked at the book, everybody from cryptographers to linguists, hoping to decipher its content, and all of them have failed. Most people would simply chalk it up to the fact that maybe the book is a hoax designed to not be solved, but experts remain totally insistent that it can be solved. And if they have any say in the matter, it will be. Personally, I'd just give up and read a comic, but that's probably why I'm not an expert. Number 2. Elongated Paracascals We've already covered quite a lot of bizarre finds, but this one is truly pretty stunning. In 2014, a geneticist began experimenting on the 2,000-year-old elongated Paracas skulls, hoping to understand exactly how this kind of head shape could exist. Instead, they found something much more stunning and controversial, unexpectedly changing what we know about our history. That first round of preliminary DNA testing reported that the skulls had mitochondrial DNA with mutations totally unknown in any life on Earth so far. Obviously, that was already pretty shocking, but just wait! In 2016, geneticists began the second round of DNA testing and made yet more controversial findings. It turns out that the skulls were shown to have European and Middle Eastern origins, which would actually change everything we know about how the Americas were once populated. That turned out to be pretty shocking for self-proclaimed experts. The DNA tests claimed that certain samples originated in Eastern Europe and Mesopotamia, opening up a whole new door of investigation for scientists. If confirmed through further tests, it would pretty much guarantee that people from Europe and the Middle East headed to the Americas long before we once believed. Take that, science! I'm just kidding. I don't understand how science works. Number 1. Father Crespi's Missing Artifacts this slightly sinister-looking man is Father Carlos Crespi Crossi, a Sicilian monk known for some pretty unusual claims. According to Crespi, he owned a huge amount of valuable artifacts, over 50,000. When the Vatican gave him permission to start a museum, he eagerly took up the opportunity. But then tragedy struck. A fire broke out, destroying many of the artifacts. When Father Crespi passed away, the remaining artifacts were removed. And, in the decades that followed, Followed, nobody had any idea what happened. In those intervening years, the legend of Father Crespi became notorious. Everyone wanted to know what happened to his mysterious artifacts. Where could they have possibly gone? Did he make it up? What could have been gained from it? The story eventually became so big that many people outright dismissed it. Until in 2016, determined investigators set out to get the facts. They discovered that all of Crespi's missing artifacts had been gathered into a private collection in the Central Bank Museum in Ecuador. Carefully catalogued and protected, all of Crespi's work had been preserved in secret. And perhaps most controversially of all, the story had been totally true the whole time. I guess the Vatican heard it from a good source, right? Have you ever made a controversial or uncomfortable discovery? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!